All right, fam, so look, I'm back at it again with another crazy video for y'all. Now, in today's video, this is actually something different. I have a video or a video that I'm reacting to in this video, but first thing first, I have to show y'all this, okay? So I'm gonna put it on the screen. Now, y'all probably looking like, bro, what is this? Okay, what what is this? What are you doing right now? Hey, look, I'm gonna I'm explain, okay? So it's this rapper by the name of Lil Wop. Okay, Lil Wop, ooh, he signed a little record label. Congratulations. No, ain't no congratulations because once you sign that, your life is over with. Literally. This is how he looks now. This is how this man looked like probably three, four months ago. Okay, once he signed that record label, this is what he turned into. I've been trying to tell people that the music industry is so demonic. They will want you to be something that you're really not. They will want you to be something that you're really not. And people like him are so brainwashed. They allow money to control them that they would do any little thing for some money. Any little thing. If it, if it caused them to embarrass themselves, to put themselves out there against their morals, against their faith, against everything that they stand for, they would do it if it, if it comes with a little bit of cash. Seriously, you know how I many people will literally say that they're not Christian to get two, $25 million? If somebody came up to certain people and said, hey, stop saying you Christian and I'll give you $25 million. You know how I many people will be like, oh, bad, I'm not a Christian. Give me that money. People do anything for money. So I'm showing y'all this because this is this is honestly disgusting. It's disgusting to me that a rapper that, that used to look like this turned into this. Oh, wait, that's not it. He turned into this. Oh, my gosh. I, seriously, this is honestly, this, bro, this is crazy to me. I never witnessed a rapper transform so quick, and they do it for money. This is why people like Tom and Dak, this is why these people will be successful. Samson, anybody that I ever reacted to that's independent, they will be more successful than the people that are signed to a record label. Why? Because the people that are signed to a record label are doing things like this. Are doing things, the record label is changing these people out, turning these people out. And when you do sign your little deal to the music industry, that's not even your money. These people are making you. You're not making them, they're making you. But look, We've been going ahead and react to a video. Uh, this is the video of Little Wop explaining, <laughs> I guess, his sexuality. Because, and bro, when y'all watch this interview, I kid you not, this man don't even know what he's talking about. I may not even get through the whole interview because of how disgusting it was from the parts that I done watched of it, okay? And my ears can't take all that. You know what I'm saying? We need to feed our spirits with something good. But I have to show y'all this. This is crazy. But the video, the title of the video is Lil Wop comes out as bisexual. I like transgenders and feminine men. Shout out to Say Cheese. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Now I want to get to this shit, man. Super Bowl night. The night of the Super Bowl, Cincinnati Bengals are playing the Rams. We have you, you're on Instagram, you're posting a, a half t-shirt, and so, you're saying I'm bisexual, I like females and males. For so. sure. Now, take us take us through that. Take What made you post that? Take us through that whole shit. ordeal, that whole situation. What made me post it? Cause like, shit, mm, for real, for real. I was just seeing how I feel for real. I'm like, on some real shit. I'm some, you know, don't get me wrong. I ain't out here sucking no dick and getting fucked in the ass and no shit like that. But you feel what I'm saying? I'll make a nigga my bitch. Like, you want to be my bitch? I'll make a motherfucker my bitch quick. Like, I don't get no fuck. Like, I ain't out here looking at, looking at motherfuckers like, yeah, I want him, I want that. It's like, nah, I like, I got a certain type. I like, I like trans. Transgender shit like that. I like, like feminine, cause I'm masculine. So I'm a motherfucking king. I come from kings royalty. I like power. So shit, you know. And when did you accept that that's who you were? Did you been knowing like? Nah, I just went around niggas like liking like, oh, I like him or no shit. I know that's a motherfucking thing. Like, he probably just was around motherfuckers like, yo, I like him. I wanna. No, I ain't know. I grew up. I grew up around savages. I was raised by real savages, like real men. Like, bro, it's already so much that you just said that didn't even make sense. Do 
do we look like Boo Boo the Fool? Seriously, do we look like Boo Boo the Fool to you? You over here talking about, oh, I was raised around savages, woo woo. Bro, you can't be gangster and fruity at the same time. Bro, you acting like a fruitcake on Instagram but want to be gangster on the interview. It don't work like that, buddy. Some of these, this why, see, this is why I'm not scared of some of these wannabe thugs. Because these wannabe thugs will take anything, you know, you feel me, in the other side. That ain't nothing supposed to go in. Bro, y'all be some wannabe thugs on the internet. Some want to be thugs. You talking about, oh, I'm king, bro. And I like king. Oh, I've been masculine. I'm this, I'm that. Bro, no masculine man is dressing in lingerie. That's something that, my, that, that's something that your wife should be doing. Not a man, not you. I'm, I'm like fed, I'm fed up with the way that the world is going, bro. This is like Sodom and Gomorrah, bro. Seriously. The way the world is going, this is like Sodom and Gomorrah. And then what's making the worse is that they're, I, they're literally worshiping these people. Oh, be who you are. Yes, yes, sus. yes, queen. You this and you that. They're literally worshiping these folks. They're making it so normalized that it's okay to be like this. It's okay to be feminine as a man. It's okay to dress up as w in women clothes as a man. It's okay to sleep with a man as a man. It's okay to do these things. It's not okay. Then guess what? They put it into the schools. Now, that the, now kids that's young think it's okay. You know how many young people probably look up to this dude? I don't know why they would, because I guarantee, I guarantee, see, look, one thing about me, I, okay, so I don't listen to rap for real. All this new rap, no, no, I don't listen to this junk. This junk is trash. Maybe it's because since I got saved, I realized how demonic the music is, that it just doesn't feed my spirit no good. So I don't listen to these rappers. But just based off what he's doing on Instagram, just based off, uh, just based off how he talk, how he sound like he over high, I know his music is garbage. I know it is. I know it is. It ain't nothing I'm finna be, oh, what? Wow. This one is hard. No, it ain't nothing like that because I guarantee his music is trash. I guarantee it is. And he did all this for some money. He had to. There's no way. Man, I'm going to just finish it up. I'm going to try to finish it up. Like, so, you know, I ain't soft, sweet, none of that shit, but How? yeah, I just wanted to put that out to the real, like, yeah, like shit. So everybody welcome to come fuck with me. If y'all like, if y'all like me and you a, you feel me? You a feminine guy, you a, you know, you a trans, like shit, it's whatever, shit, it's love. I ain't throwing no shade, it's a lot of love, I need, I want all the love. Now. A lot of people thought that this was a clout chase because you, you know, shortly after that, you deleted the pictures and and you no longer talked about it and stuff like that. It was just like people thought you were trying to get attention to make that like that big comeback in rap. Hey, I had clout my whole life, so I ain't never going to do no goofy shit for no clout. I had clout before I was even famous, so I always had a name for myself in Chicago. People know me. Oh, he from my city too. That's I'm done, bro. That's what makes it even ten times worse. You you from my city. You making us look bad. Talking about I had clout already. I had clout, bro. You didn't have no clout. I go back to your Instagram, but you only got 200k followers on Instagram. If you want to be real, that ain't clout. Your pictures, he's not even getting that much likes. Like me, I don't have clout. Period. I ain't famous. <laughs> I'm just saying. You talking about I ain't sweet, I ain't on this, I ain't on that. Then why are you dressing like you're sweet? Why are you dressing like you're sweet, bro? I could tell that you didn't really want to do it. But let me tell you something. You do not need to allow money to control you. See, I've been trying to understand that lately with myself. I've been allowing money to control me. We are in control of it. Don't let it control you. Don't let don't let you do it. Don't, don't allow yourself to be downgraded because you're doing things for money. Because at the end of the day, you sign that record, it's not your money, it's theirs. That's why some of these rappers, that's why these rappers are broke. Broke. Bro, you know what I mean? Rappers are leasing things because they're broke. Broke. Seriously. YouTubers make more money than rappers. Why? Because this is our money. The money that we make from YouTube, this is our money. But at the end of the day, like I said, you do not have to allow money to control you. I know you young. I'm young. We have to understand that money is not everything. Money is not your life. Money is not this and money is not that because when you die, you can't take it with you. 
You can't take it with you. You can't. We got to live this life. life, And if we have money, we have it. If we don't, we don't. But at the end of the day, don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do a little, I'm not going to do anything that's, that's going to make me look bad in public. Because I want, because I want some money. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. This was crazy to me, bro. This was honestly crazy to me. I didn't expect this. Um, <laughs> it's wild. I never thought I'd ever see a rapper do something like this. But y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section below, man. Hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. Been your boy, The Pen. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace. <laughs>